Do you think Jamichael Hasty will make this roster? This is an interesting one because it's. I think. I think right now I would say yes. I think he might. He's going to be the fourth back. You, uh, I don't. I don't foresee Elijah Mitchell making the roster um, as a, on the fifty-three. I think he ends up on the on the practice squad. Practice squad or IR. Yes, one, one of those two. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Not practice squad because they'd have to release him first to get him there. So sure. IR. Probably IR. Did they do that with Joe Williams and Tim Harris Jr. Kind of like the uh, the redshirt year. A little bit. I don't know what, what you'd call it. But, yeah, I, I, I think he has. I, George Kittle compared him to Jeff Wilson Jr. I mean, they're a little different, but they're similar in the sense that they're um, undrafted free agents who are good running backs. I think they're – I don't know if they're great, but they're pretty good. And it, I think if you – he, I think he would really pair well with Lance in the zone read, the kind of guy who can be very effective from the gun because you have to do a lot of stopping and starting with with those angles as opposed to the deep eye formation where you're just kind of running around the edge like Mostert. He's a good fit for it. Yeah, he definitely is. I, he's, he's looked he's looked really good. The only thing with the first week was the fumble, but he didn't have that issue this week, so definitely clean that up. And uh, he he's, seems to be a little bit bigger and, and more physical this year. So, so far, so far, I would say he's definitely uh, would be the guy I would see as, as, as uh, running back four. Because even before Mitchell went down, it seemed like Hasty was getting the, the reps ahead of him. Agree. And I want to say that while he is running back four, it'll be interesting to see what happens when Jeff Wilson Jr. comes back eventually. Um, Wayne Gallman is running back three. He's earned it. He looks really good. He runs really hard. He's good between the tackles. What do you, th- I mean, what do you think of Wayne Gallman? I like him too. He's, he's, yeah. he's kind of, again, I like, I like what he brings. He's, you, you saw him set this this week was kind of set up perfect for him because he's a guy that needs to run the ball more and he got 15 carries so the more you give him carries the better he gets um and and he looked strong on on sunday made some really nice runs i think the biggest one of the biggest plays of the game was was uh on the i think it was the i remember which touchdown drive it was but they had a they had a holding call so it became first and 20 and they gave him the ball in a draw and he gained seven yards i think it was Mm-hmm. That was that was a huge play because that that set up the 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 play action throw to James, which set up the, the rest of the drive. But it really put him back in a in a second manageable situation. Yeah. Real quick before we change the subject, I see this comment. It just kills me. Papa Watson says Lance will play sporadically and in certain packages. He will not start week one. Accept that fact already. I love. I mean, people are dug in because they want to be right. I, I think that's more what it is. Not like they they die in to see Jimmy week one, but they want to be right. But I wonder, were there, are there these kind of debates and fights on other fan bases? Like last year with the Chargers, were there Charger fans being like, look, Tyrod's going to start week one, right? Accept it. Okay. And then when Tyrod got the start, were, they, were there people like celebrating? Like, yeah, <laughs> we need to wait on Justin Herbert. I, I, it just seems like an odd thing to root for, but I kind of get it, I guess, a little bit, I, I guess. I, yeah. Were there oh, a yeah. segment of, of the Browns fans that were really juiced when Tyrod Taylor started week one and not Baker Mayfield? Like, yeah, you're going to need a little time, Rook. Like, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's a tough one. But it's also very – it's an interesting social dynamic. I don't know. Yeah. I, people like Jimmy. He's been here a while. It's hard. Change is new. Change is tough. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, all that stuff. Plus, <laughs> Trey doesn't look 100% ready yet, so there is that. Yeah. Heather, yeah. Heather Taylor says – if the Bengals cut Billy Price, we should give him a try as offensive guard depth. Former first rounder might be worth a shot. What do you think, Billy Price? Yeah, if they can bring him in for on a cheap deal, bring him on. You know, because I don't think they, you know, they, they don't have uh, give him the if he if he's willing to take the some money same money that they were going to be given to uh, Michael Kendricks. Sure, bring him on board. Let him fight for a spot. Yeah, I think they're really like you know one injury away from having to play Tom Compton or Colton McKivitz, something like that. Um, I don't really know if there's much of a difference except for besides the fact that McKivitz is 68 and Compton 66. So, yeah, Billy Price, come on down. Anyone who wants to play, Mikey Potty, should they be? <laughs> probably not. McKiv- I don't think McKiv- so. McKivitz is better than uh, the Compton. Come on, I would hope so. Sorry, I didn't. I, I sorry, Colton. I mean, that's really, really mean to to, call, to compare. That's that was low. That was low. Ben Ben says, Jay Jimmy Garoppolo take pay cut or restructure contract as QB two. No, uh, Jack has a great point. Rosen was the only leverage there. They would have had to convince. They would have had to go to Garoppolo and Don Yee's agent and be like, Look, we're good with Sudfeld and uh, Rosen. We really like Rosen. Rosen stepped up. So if you want to stick around as a backup. You got to do it for cheap, but they can't do that. 
they can't do that. Yeah, no, I, no. There, I don't think there's any way that, that they would. There's no reason. There's no reason for Garoppolo to do that at all. Yeah, they missed the window to actually spend that money on something this year. You just gotta adjust your expectations accordingly. Hey, maybe the Niners could. They could make history in a lot of ways this year. If they win this year, they'd be the first doing a lot of stuff with a rookie quarterback or with an expensive quarterback or a quarterback who lost the first time. I mean, someone's yeah. L.A. There's, did, but, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of things against them. first. Yeah. Was Jimmy fully confident on that ACL in 20? No. I don't think so. No. Was he great in 2019? No. He was good against New Orleans. Oh, that, that, that game against New Orleans really made – his reputation with a lot of fans. I mean, he, they put up like 40 something points. Yeah. So he there did. Was, yeah. He had some big, he had that game and then he had the game against, you know, he had the big comeback against the Rams. Uh, that was 16. big. He didn't play super great. And he threw two picks in that game, but they won. He was clutch. Yeah. Super clutch. Yeah. You know, and then up in Seattle was kind of the same thing, right? It's, it's, it's just uh, the, a lot of the, the Jimmy gimmies. And yeah, he, he made nice a great throws. tackle at the goal line at that, at that game. I thought, wait, that was Dre Greenlaw. No, but there was something else that Jimmy did in that game. That was good, but yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I <laughs> no, but can't you, help myself. No, but no, no, you're right. Cause a lot of people are pointing to that game and he statistically, he played well, but when you go back yeah. and you really watch that game, it wasn't like he was really doing a, a whole lot. Mm. It was, it was yeah. a lot of his yards came from tossing the ball forward to, to uh, Debo yeah. Samuel on that, on that end of round that he took for a touchdown. And I think that's kind of the problem. Not to keep talking about quarterbacks. I think that's kind of the problem with like the Jimmy offense is it's it's a little played out. Like they showed it in 2019. There's only so much more you can do. There's only so many more ways you can scheme up explosive plays with jet sweeps and shovel passes and screens. I mean, I think Kyle's pretty much taken that to its limit. And it's no it's no knock on Kyle. It's just there's a limit to the stuff you can do uh, when you're not throwing more than five yards, 10, 15 yards downfield. And now you're going to see a, a much more voluminous, I like that word. It's a silly word, offense. 